thank you for having me and thank you for allowing me to come up and uh, ramble on for, uh, for eight, eight minutes. Um, we've, I've, I've never been to a TED event before. Um, the, the, the dynamics of this crowd, the, the dynamics of the people that have been up here uh, really gives new hope, uh, inspires new belief on the future of this country for me. Uh, it is very impressive uh, that there's so many people that would care about uh, things that matter. Um, what I'll talk about today, though, isn't the device. What you m may have heard about in the media about is this low-cost tablet that we are currently supplying to the government and will shortly uh, launch in the open market. But the story is, in my opinion, uh, more than the tablet. It's what happens when you create low-cost computing, uh, when you create low-cost internet access. It's about empowerment, it's about the opportunity, and then the last few slides of my presentation, I'll talk about sort of how we got there. Uh, you know, these are solutions that come from our own hurdles and adversities we faced. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the, the idea that technology, or trying to convince you that technology creates empowerment. The, the picture of the rickshawwala that you see up there is from a presentation I used to use back in 2004. And I used to highlight his hand and show a blow up of his hand and say, look, he's got a mobile phone. And in 2004, it was an interesting concept. Today, if he told you he doesn't have a mobile phone, you'd call him a liar. Um, when somebody says to me, you know, what are they going to use the internet for? You know, the masses are illiterate. They're not going to be able to take advantage of these. Who's going to teach them how to use this? And it's the same kind of thing they used to say, in, you know, seven, eight years ago, about who's going to teach them how to use the mobile phone? And then, what's the motivation? You know, why are they going to want one of these things? There's no rickshawala in this country that aspires for his kids to be rickshawalas. Everybody in this country, at every level of society, aspires to be able to educate their kids. And if you can create technology that empowers them, you don't need to explain it, you don't need to sell it, the demand comes off themselves. One of my motivators was watching this YouTube video and were giggling, and they'd done a search, and it said, Indian teacher funny. And when I saw what they were watching, uh, to me it wasn't funny. I thought it was very sad. Uh, and I'll share with you a little bit of that video, and then I'll not spend any more time on empowerment. I'd like to talk about opportunity. Please. School wahi hai, classroom bhi wahi hai. Bas master ni sahiba badal gayi hai. Lekin zara inka guru gyan bhi dekh lijiye. Ab zara apple aur mango ki spelling hi dekh lijiye. और ये जनवरी फरवरी किस चिड़िया का नाम है मैडम से सीख लीजिए मैडम को संडे की स्पेलिंग नहीं आती संडे का स्पेलिंग क्या पढ़ाती हैं संडे का एस ए एन डी ई संडे रविवार मैडम को एप्पल की स्पेलिंग नहीं आती एप्पल का स्पेलिंग क्या पढ़ाती एप्पल a P I L मैडम के एक साल में 360 दिन होते हैं एक साल में कितने दिन होते हैं मैडम एक साल में बारह महीना का एक साल होता है तीन सौ साठ दिन का होता है मैडम को प्रधानमंत्री का नाम भी नहीं मालूम 
भारत के प्रधानमंत्री का क्या नाम है मैडम नहीं जानते me it wasn't funny at all i i i think humiliating somebody on national tv is wrong and i think not recognizing that millions of kids could potentially be relegated to this quality education is actually sad well the opportunity is huge in our opinion the world's changing and it's important to take advantage of the future that we see in front of us the last couple of 100 years were either dominated by economies that were imperialist or by economies that were resource rich we all know we've heard it for a few years the next few 100 years are going to be technology based economies and india has a demographic advantage over the rest of the world has a demographic advantage over china and the west but the cost of a computer in the west is a week of salary the cost of a computer here is 6 months of salary the cost of internet access uh, in 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 canada where i live is a day of salary in a month a day of my salary goes towards internet access in india for the average person if they were paying for internet access it, it would be 2 weeks of salary and that's a huge huge problem the there was a, there was a article out um, about a week ago that talked about uh, india having reached 100 million internet users and it was supposed to be a feel good story and that feel good story uh called them active users and active users were defined as people that use the internet once a month active users they, they when you read the article further they, they had a category for hyperactive users that used them at least once every other day if that's a hyperactive user i'm an addict um 48 million indians use it at least every other day that's 4% of this country 96% of this country doesn't even use it every other day today china has 500 million internet users people look at that and say yeah but you know the masses are illiterate who's going to teach them how to use the internet when i used to do the rickshaw wala picture with the mobile phone that's what they used to tell me the same the exact same thing india had 50 60 million mobile phone users china had 500 and they'd say we'd never catch up the 900 million mobile phone users today and we believe that there's an opportunity for hundreds of millions of computer and internet users if you can solve the price issue 10 years ago 12 years ago when the internet and computers were primarily in the west the number of internet users and computers users were about the same number in that period of time a 4 billion person gap has developed there are 2 billion internet users in the world there's 4 billion computer uh, mobile phone users in the world if you can make computers and internet in that same price point you can bridge that gap not everybody believes the opportunity exists in fact uh, recently there was an economic times article that talked about the pre bookings and the orders and the demand that we've been facing and they interviewed an analyst and asked his opinion and the analyst said he said well we think it's only attractive for students and youth who are aspiring to buy new products we think it's a niche product that'll have a small appeal and there'll be maybe between 250,000 to half a million units at most that can sell in India over the next 12 months. I I I want to spend a little bit of time explaining how we got here and where we are today. We we're a technology company. This is the third venture my brother and I've done together and we've been creating technology products for about 20 22 years. And about 10 years ago we had ideas about the mobile internet. and the result of those ideas we started applying for patents we received 18 us patents uh, a few dozen international patents around a technology to deliver the mobile internet and in essence what this technology does is it shifts the burden of processing power and memory from the device to back end servers it reduces the cost of memory and processing power the client side to have lower cost devices and reduces bandwidth consumption by a factor of 30 times giving a faster richer web experience 
I, I won't spend a lot of time explaining that, but the result of that is that we were able to create low-cost devices that we wanted to take to market. The first product was a product called a Pocket Surfer, which was a handheld internet device, and the in intent, intent was exactly the same as what we're doing now, uh, is deliver low-cost devices and deliver the internet. It's, it wasn't at the price range we're today, but we went out to create this product. This required a custom-sized LCD screen, and we thought we could sell, you know, based on our capacity, maybe 20, 30, 50,000 a year. And we went out talking to vendors that made those kinds of products, and nobody wanted to supply us an LCD screen. It's a two to three million dollars development cost, minimum million units a year, and that's the minimum requirement. So we thought, well, how difficult can it be? And we sourced the glass, and we found the place that did the etching on it. We created the drivers, and in six months, we created our own LCD module. What would have cost us a couple million dollars and fifty dollars for the LCD screen cost us three guys' salary for six months, and instead of a fifty-dollar LCD screen, it was a twenty-dollar LCD screen or, or lower. Today, we apply that to the hardware. There's so many elements of that hardware that have come from 20 years of designing and developing products and discovering when somebody doesn't want to supply you, how you go about that and how do you create a, a solution uh, that, that'll, that'll make it work. The result is we can create low-cost devices at such low costs that it, it truly makes people's jaws drop. People don't believe they can be done. We've got competitors turning around today that say there's no way, there's no way they can do it. They're losing money in this. Well, I, I assure you, we, we make good margins on this. The result of this is we're able to create a tablet computer that costs half of what an average smartphone does today, costs about the kind of range that a feature phone does today. <clears throat> it's a, and I won't spend too much time plugging the features and the performance, it's an Android 2.2 device, delivers the web. Delivers the web using our accelerated technology and on today, India's GPRS mobile networks delivers the web faster and richer than any device out there. And I put out an open challenge for any device on a GPRS network to beat the speed of what this does in delivering the web. <laughs> when we had this product out there, we, we used to try to figure out how do you sell this? How do you set it apart? And we put out an industry-wide speed challenge that uh, um, a tech guru picked up, and they said, we'll test it out. These guys claim that on GPRS, this is faster than any other handheld mobile device in the market. They took a laptop with a data card, they took a, um, a 3G phone, and they went around Mumbai accessing web pages, and on seven tests, we beat the others on five. You can... You can go to YouTube, search for Pocket Surfer Speed Challenge, and you'll find these videos of what was broadcast at that time. So this is not just cheap technology. This is the best mobile web experience on an Indian network today. It plays HD quality video. It allows you access to Android games. I think it's a fantastic product. Well, that wasn't the only hurdle we faced. Um, when we were putting this out, no mobile phone operator wanted to sell this thing. It's not a phone. Who needs the internet? They, they're going to use WAP, and they're going to use this, and they're going to use that. They don't need the real internet. The real internet is not going to evolve into these kinds of things. And we thought, no, no, no. We think people need the web. We need the web. So we went around the world. We talked to mobile phone operators in many, many countries, and nobody wanted to sell our device. So we thought there's got to be another way around this, and we approached uh, mobile phone operators and we said, okay, you don't want to sell it, that's fine. 
why don't you give us access to your network on a wholesale basis? You have no marketing cost, nothing else. We'll just buy data access from you, and we'll go sell it, and we'll bundle the access with it. And it took some effort, and about a year worth of effort, uh, a mobile phone operator in the UK said, sure, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll, we'll let you have data access and see what happens. But the problem is, how do people top up? You're going to sell access. You've got to have the ability to top up. How are people going to be able to top up? Well, we discovered something else. We discovered that on a wholesale basis, that access in the UK costs us about 50 pence a month. Normally, it would cost about 12 pounds, but with our compression acceleration, it costs us 50 pence. And I thought, how do I figure out how to collect 50 pence? We decided to make it free. Subsidize it by advertising or bundle it within the cost of the device, and you make mobile internet access free. The story isn't the low-cost device. The story is, within the next year, we will launch free mobile internet into the Indian market. Not, not as charity, as a very profitable business. <laughs> the, the, the hardware is a customer acquisition tool. I, I, I stole this from a Apple presentation. I, 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 I copied parts of it. The hardware is a customer acquisition tool. The network service provider pays us a share today, and hopefully within the year we'll have will have eliminated or reduced their role and it'll be free mobile internet. We also make money from content and we also make money from advertising. And that's the business. We focus on the whole ecosystem, not just the hardware. Well, the result of the original announcement of this product is that the dynamics have changed. Analysts forecast between a quarter million to half a million tablets a year the total market for computers in India is supposed to be 10 million units a year. The response has been so overwhelming, my life's become so surreal that I get invited to talk to an amazing group of people and, and, and interact with, with people so intellectually beyond uh, where I stand. The, the result, though, is that the day that the analyst said that the total market in India for tablets is between 250,000 to 500,000 units, our individual end-user pre-bookings stood at 320,000 units. The, the, the expressions of interest from corporates and institutes and so on stood at 3 million plus units. We, we expect right now to be able to place uh, 5 million units in the Indian market in 2012, the total market for computers in India is supposed to be 10 million. We're going to go from zero to five million in one year. I've been invited by the president of Sri Lanka to come and set up a program of this no nature in there. Turkey has set up a project to put out 10 million units. When the government ran an election campaign around that, and they said, how are you going to fund these 10 million units that you're going to give out to your students in, 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 sorry, in Thailand? They said, we're going to get the $35 versions from India. Uh, this is Indian technology revolutionizing the world. Thank you so much. Hands together for everybody for rising, for everybody stands in admiration for what's been a fabulous effort, relentless effort put together only to make the country proud.